Now I have dual function tonight. So I'm not only your mistress of ceremony, I'm also a keynote speaker for this evening. So I'm changing um, hats now. I'm the same person. I first want to thank K1 Britannia for giving me the opportunity to be the keynote speaker this evening to these lovely graduates, some of whom are not a stranger to me. I want to start out with one of my own quotes by saying, you were born and destined to do great things. You are greatness. Remember who you are. You are greatness. You are world changers. So I want for the graduates to stand, all of you. And I want you to, to repeat, when I say, I'm gonna say, you are greatness, and I'm gonna ask who you are. And then you're gonna reply, okay then, okay then. You were born and destined to do great things. You are? Greatness. Who are you? Greatness. Who are you? Greatness. You are a world changer. Who are you? Greatness. Who are you? Greatness. Who are you? Greatness. All right. Remember that. Thank you so much. I wanted to start with that because I want you all to understand that that greatness has always been inside of you. So I want you to start thinking, so your thoughts, your words, and your action to be only great. So great thoughts, great words, and great action. The only person who can stop you in the track is you yourself. Your biggest enemy is you. So guess what? We have that little voice inside of us that says many things, and one of them are, who do you think you are to be a great individual? Who do you think you are to do great things? And when that voice comes inside of your mind or your spirit, you have to respond by saying, I am greatness. I am a world changer. I want you to stay focused, to know your purpose and your mission in this life. You have gotten so far, but I don't only want you to think of yourself. I want you to think of a younger sibling, a younger cousin, a younger friend. That you can say, I have gotten so far, so I'm gonna take someone with me on that journey to do great things with his or her life as well. So you're gonna pay it forward, because someone paid it forward for you. But you choose to continue that journey. But I don't want you to continue the journey alone. I want you to adopt someone, whether it's a younger sibling, a younger cousin, or a younger friend. And make sure what you have learned and your experience within K1 Britannia, you pass that on. To encourage that other person to know that they too can do great things with their life. Because that's what it's all about. I know right now we are facing some challenging times in St. Martin with our young people. So I want to applaud you and I'm, I'm saying I'm very proud of you. Jaquan, thank you so much for what you have said, how you have done it. Because like you said, you could have taken another choice. You could have made other decisions, but you chose not to. So it means that you have decided to do great things with your life. So you are an example. Don't stop it by you. I applaud you for the courage that you had to come up here and exp express to us your life journey, to share with us your life journey. But for us to look at you and see that you have done it. And to all the graduates tonight, your journey has just begun. It's now starting. When you go out there in the field, 
just how you are sitting proud this evening, blessed this evening, take it to you at the workplace. Allow your employer to see who you are. And like I always said, you can have all the good grades in the world, but if you don't have a good character and a good behavior, you're not gonna reach far. No one is gonna want to be in your presence. So remember to respect self and others. Think before you respond. Because when you say words, it comes from your heart. You cannot take them back. People don't remember what you say to them, but they remember how you treat them. So compassion, kindness, and love takes you a long way. Allow that to be in your life, in your spirit, in your vocabulary. Uplift and enhance another person. And what you don't want for yourself, don't do it to someone else. Because that is so important to understand that. So as young, blessed, proud graduates tonight, I want you to give your parents a round of applause. I know sometimes, as teenagers, as youngsters, you think your parents disgusting, they're talking too much, they're buttoning my business, I don't want them to know this, I don't want them to know that. But remember two things. They're the first to arrive and the last to leave. And they love you unconditionally, without a condition. They may not show it all the time, but it's there. So I want you in return to love them unconditionally without a condition. And tonight, your parents, I know your parents are here or a bigger sibling or maybe an aunt or an uncle. Someone is here for you tonight. And when you get your certificate, I want you to walk up to your parent, guardian, sibling, someone that came with you tonight, and thank them. Because you could have been doing something differently or something else, but they choose to be here with you tonight because they are proud of you and who you have become and who you are becoming. So who are you? Greatness. Who are you? Greatness. You are greatness and world changers. And the only change that you can become is a change that you want to see. Right, I love that word. Lock it. Clock, clock. Excuse me. Clock it. Hey. So remember that. Clock all the positivity inside of your life and let the clock spin and share that with someone else. So I want to say to the graduates, congratulations to the parents, congratulations. And remember the high school that you came from? Go back and thank them, whether you were graduates or not, and make sure to show them what you have accomplished. Because they are proud of you as well. That's where it started. Thank you so much. Woo.